we are still busy with the theme of geometry of two-dimensional shapes, uh, more specifically congruency of triangles. We are going to work through some of the um, problems in exercise 13.7. So for number 2b of exercise 13.7, we have to prove formally that triangle G H I is equal to triangle G L I. And now, as we indicated previously, important, very important is the order. So now we have a general strategy to, to prove congruency. Just as we have in essays and introduction, a body and a conclusion, we have the same approach with proving congruency. So our introduction will be simply to start with what was given. We will say in triangle GHI and triangle GLI so that is our introduction next we have our body and our body will always consist out of uh, three sections so firstly we can see that um, these two lines in the two respective triangles are equal as we said order is important so let's look um, hi hi is equal to li li so that's the first thing we can say that hi equals to Li and we need reasons because that's a statement so in this particular case it was graciously given to us so secondly we can look at gh gh equals gl gl you see they are, both have the two lines so they are equal so gh equals gl and again this was given to us so the third and large portion of our body we can see that GI, GI, and GI is the same because it's a common site. So it is common to both triangles. So GI equals GI, reason being it is common. So we are now done with our body final step is our conclusion since we have three aspects um, we can say therefore triangle g h i is congruent to triangle g l i and now the important part is the reason so we have a side we have another side we have another side so this is the three sides scenario because remember we have four scenarios so we require one of those four scenarios so let's look at one problem from number three we are going to to tackle 3c where we have to prove that triangle g j l is congruent to triangle 
H K L. So first we know we need the introduction. So in triangle G J L and triangle HKL that's our introduction done and dusted we now need our body of three steps so firstly we see we have sides that are equal so we have JL which we have to compare to KL so JL equals KL and this was given to us that's our reason that we know it so secondly we see we have an x and we have an x so these side or these angles angle j and angle k angle j in the middle here angle k in the middle as we know what is important uh, they are equal so angle j equals angle k and that was also given so we need a third step and I can see we have vertical opposite angles here they are staring at each other across lines that crossed so angle j l g j l j rather so j l j so angle j l or rather g l j so angle G L J equals angle K L H. And the reason is vertical opposite angles. And now we see, just before we go there, you can see L and L was in the same position here. That's why we know this one is correct. And uh, now we see we have an angle, a side, and an angle. Angle, side, angle. So in conclusion, we can therefore say, therefore, triangle. GJL is congruent to triangle HKL and our reason is angle angle sight And yet it's important to know that um, that side needs to be a corresponding side. So let's just um, have a look at that side. JL equals KL. JL equals KL. So it is opposite angle H and opposite angle G and we see G and H are in the same positions.